Is all going. Oh, I wanted to um, show you um, what happened here. Now, some of you have noticed over the last couple of days that my web client's been down, and that's for a very good reason. It's because my main computer uh, went bang and stopped working. So we went and upgraded to a, a new computer, which is uh, more powerful and it's a laptop um, the old computer was i don't know over 10 years old and while it had been updated we updated the graphics cards a few times the ram it was big and it was power hungry extremely power hungry um i just wanted to uh, show you the difference so i think the best way to do that is to go to battery charts uh, where are we? Right down the bottom there. And we'll go to the uh, sixth because this old computer was still going then. And you can see um, it was nice warm days, clear skies back then. And the battery dropped down to 85%. Were we home on the sixth, love? I don't know. She doesn't know. Let's go back a bit further because I, I, I think we might have been on holidays then. Let's go back to the 17th of September. That's more like it. Okay, so we were home then, as you can see. And uh, our power use was pretty high. And at this, what, what's the time now? It's... 7.30, okay, so let's work on 7.30. So at 7.30 in the morning, our batteries were 83%, um, which was mainly due to the uh, other computer. Um, now, last night we had this computer on all night because I was downloading and updating some of my games and the video programs and all that so it was on all night let's go back to today and you can see the difference in the power use okay already so we go to 732 and the batteries are at 89 percent instead of 83 percent and that is a huge power saving uh, simply by changing computers. And my wife sat down and did the math um, and she worked out roughly, the old computer used roughly 80% of the total house's power. Because as you know, we've been making this house very energy efficient over the years. And um, the last thing we had to change really was that beast of a machine and that's done now so but the power savings were absolutely huge simply by switching to a new computer so um, we're both really happy with that um let's have a quick look at it there we go so you can see what we switch to Uh, it's got uh, four RAM slots, we're only using one, it's got a 16 gigabyte stick in one, so it's pretty upgradable. Uh, it's got a, um, an SSD 250 gigabyte main um, hard drive and then it's got a standard one terabyte hard drive in it as well. So it's, it's awesome, we're, we're very happy with it. Very happy with it because that's my server there, but yes, we're, we're very, very, very happy with it. All right, so um, 
I made the outside bit before. I showed you what the uh, computer and everything looked like. The um, first um, screen capture I took didn't work, so this is my second attempt at it. So if you notice the difference in times, that's what it is. Okay. I hope you enjoy this video and you can see uh, simply by changing one device um, how much power we saved. Okay, so that's the uh, old computer screen back there. Uh, one of them. We got rid of uh, the other two there in the, in the spare bedroom. And there's the laptop there. There's nothing under the desk at all. We're still using while it's at home and, and not on the road with us. We're still using the old keyboard and uh, my upright mouse. But let's open this. And you can, it's a, a nice uh, there you go. That's what it's all got in it. Quite a nice little computer. I can't, you know, it's um, it's incredible that it's a lot more powerful than the old one. Um, where's the? I'll have a quick look here. Properties. That's what we're using. There it is. Windows 10 Pro. 16 gigabytes of internal memory. It's got four internal memory slots. I'm only using one. 64-bit operating system. Um, so the guys, because I, I rang the guys up and I basically said I need a video editing computer. Uh, that's also good for gaming and this is what um, this is what I, they recommended. So they said it's upgradable, we can put more RAM in it and I mean it's got a lot of um, USB ports and I've got extra ones over there, they're, they're all full. I've got my normal speakers and everything thing plugged in. Basically um, it, uh, it works faster, takes up less room and hardly use any, uses any power as you can see by the power charts. Okay, let's quickly go outside and have a look at the uh, weather. Excuse the video for a minute. There's the old computer sitting there. I've, um, I've got to pull it all, all apart, get my hard drives out of there and uh, recover the gear. As you can see, it's pretty dark out here. There's, uh, the clouds are moving in. Like I say, we're expecting thunderstorms. And that's the way it's coming from, through there. It's sort of sliding across from that way across towards the house. So, I wish it was, I wish this, this, this lot was coming this way because that looks more bluer. Yeah. yeah. So that made a huge change. So, um, that, I think that was the last power hungry thing in the house that needed changing. I have a little update to the video uh, before I produce it. The hot water system's just turned on, the electric hot water system outside. Now, um, you remember the power use with the electric hot water system was um, just over a thousand watts up and down. And now with the hot water system on, my computer on, my wife's computer on, just normal uh, daytime power, you can see the time up there up there uh, is nine 17 minutes past nine in the morning um, it's cloudy and overcast outside and we've even had a shower of rain the batteries are up to 94 percent already and it's only using it's bouncing between i would say seven and almost 800 watts so um, it's around 300 watts less 
uh, that we normally use for this time of, of the morning with the electric hot water system on. That um, electric hot water system I got from Silvio at eSolar up in Perth is just so, so energy efficient. And uh, put it that in together with the uh, new laptop. Um, yeah, my wife is just, yeah, we've got stacks of power now, stacks. No, oh, well, we had stacks of power before, but now we've even got a lot more because we're using um, next to no power at all. Let's have a quick look at the charge controller. Uh, remaining, so the batteries are at um, already at not uh, over 900 amp hours, another 30 to go. Of course, that's um, that's that's temperature compensated. Um, it's a thousand amp hour battery bank, but it's temperature compensated, so you can work that out for yourselves. Um, we're just loving it. We're just loving it. Um, if you have a look, I mean, from midnight last night to now, the house has only used 1.925 four kilowatt hours. Um, so almost two kilowatt hours. It's um, just fantastic. Don't worry about yesterday's uh, because yesterday uh, Jeremy was changing his program. Oh, I should show you that while, while we're here. Um, the, the, he's changed the look of it and he's changed a uh, few things about it. Um, but what, what you can do now is you can run a manual local backup uh, or run a manual remote backup that backs up onto to, uh, the server. So if um, your computer crashes or dies, like my big big one did just recently, um, you can save all of your settings uh, for your ACDC power monitor on uh, the server or or on your own computer, which yeah, or your own server if you have one, and. When you uh, reinstall the program, you can just run your backup and it will put all the settings back to where they were before the crash. Bloody good job, Jeremy. Good job. All right, so that's going to round up the video. Um, I hope you found it informative. Keep safe, everybody. Hey, bye for now.